Alrighty, so question three. My friends and I don't want to party on Halloween. What are some fun things we can do besides watching scary movies or going to parties? Um, this one does not have some the name of who submitted it, but um, I feel like, for one, little surprising, I feel like there's not many people who like actively don't want to do scary movies or like parties or Halloween -y things. I don't want to do scary movies. <laughs> <Fair. Halloween. laughs> um, I feel like a good, really good thing to do would be to have like a game night because I feel like that's always a fun thing to do with your friends, no matter the situation. Who's but a it's, scary thing? Yeah, yeah. I, well, I was gonna say play something that's like still kind of Halloweeny. So like, um, the haunting of the house on the hill. Huh? It, wait, is that a game? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. It's a board game. Well, it's just confused. It just got me confused because there's also that show on Netflix, The Haunting of Hill House. Yeah, it's not The Haunting of Hill House. <laughs> it's The Haunting of the House on the Hill. It's very convoluted, but it's so Fair. much fun. Yeah, so there's like Clue, there's that. Uh, there's a game I play with my friends. It's called Pandemic, which is more real world scary because it's about um, disease outbreak. And you actually work as a team to try to eradicate diseases across like a board that's set up of the planet. Oh. It's really weird, but fun and it's the kind of game that you don't necessarily win you just get a little bit better each time that's cool so um that one's a really good one also there are so many if anyone's ever played jackbox games before oh they're so good so there are party games that you get on like xbox or playstation or switch okay. whatever and they usually have a party pack of about five or six games and you log in on your phone um through jackbox.tv and then you pick, like, you, you, like, type in the room code for mm -hmm. whatever game you're playing and then pick, like, a fun nickname you want to call yourself. And like then they have a bunch of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they have um, just, like, a bunch of different games. So, like, one of them's called Quit Flash where you get a prompt and you try mm -hmm. to answer it in as funny a way as possible. And then someone else answers the same prompt and it puts it up on the screen against each other and yeah. everyone votes on which one was funnier. Oh, nice. And so it's a bunch of different party games like that. There's one that's very Halloween -y themed that's called Monster Seeking Monster, which is about you're you're secretly some kind of Halloween -y creature okay. and you have to try to convince other people to date you. And then if you date them, something could happen to them. So like if you're a zombie, you also turn them into a zombie. If you're a werewolf and you date them on a full moon, you get extra points and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So they have a ton of different games that are all super fun. And I play with my friends all the time. It cool. makes any group gathering. You know about fun games. I do. We're, we're a big uh, game household in my apartment. Nice. I love games, but... My family doesn't play with me anymore because I'm really competitive. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. But so, so are my friends, so it works. Like, I'll play games. Like, <laughs> is banned and I hear it's Haha. Says the girl who hates scary movies. Yeah. yeah I feel like Kara. I was yeah. forced to watch many of the Saws. I um, saw Beetlejuice the other night. Oh, I'm so I am so proud. It's such a good movie. So good. Not a scary movie. But, no. Well, it's a scary movie, but it's also hilarious. And, oh, my God. Yeah, if you want to... That's another thing. If you don't want to watch scary movies on Halloween, there are so many Halloween movies that aren't scary. Beetlejuice. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. All the Halloween towns. <laughs> Halloween towns. Um, You got Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Classic. Young Frankenstein. Um, Classic. Uh, Wallace and Gromit. Curse of the Were Rabbit. Yeah. Another one, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. That's a great Christmas, one. Kind of scoopy, scoop, scoopy. That one is appropriate at Halloween or Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Whichever one you choose. Yeah. Comment um, below if you think it's more of a Christmas or <laughs> Halloween movie. It's like asking people yeah. if Die Hard's a Christmas movie. The, mo the Ghost of Mr. Chicken? I don't know what that one is. Oh my gosh, what is it? Don Knotts? I think it was. Nope. He passed away a few years ago. Classic comedian. He was also the Amazing Mr. Olympic. Not a Halloween movie, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, classic. Um, Ghost of Mr. Chicken. It's it's a it's a funny, scary movie. It's this guy has to go into a haunted house in the middle of the night. It's it's a lot of fun. I watch a lot that of like fun. like funny, spooky movies. Funny, spooky. Yeah, funny, Good. spooky. Um, yeah. is is kind of my gag for Halloween because I like I picked up the Black Roses. I love Black Roses. I'm all about that. But like when you get to like murder, and I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> I love scary stuff, so if you don't want to stay in and watch a movie, you can always go to, like, a haunted house and okay. a hayride. Um, oh, yeah. Hayrides are super fun to do with yeah. friends, too. Definitely. And they're open pretty late. They're open to, like, 11, usually. I At also, least. and we were probably just, like, the annoying kids, so probably everyone hated us, but <laughs> when me and my friends used to do the hayride back in, like, high school and stuff, it was, like, kind of scary, but not super scary. But the we would make it less scary by 
either screaming back in the people's faces when they would get up and like try to scare you, we'd just be like, ah, and scream back at them. Or we would pick like one song that we were just like obsessed with at the time and just like sing it at people. <sighs> and so there was one year, our probably our prime year where we annoyed the most people and we just didn't care, was uh, we sang Party in the USA yes. at all the people who <laughs> were running the hayride. I did, um, I did a hayride last year. And I, my friend was like, let's go to Spooky World. Ooh. It wasn't, I wasn't too scared. Um, but the Haunted Hayride thing is that they can, they can touch you. Most of the time, the actors can't touch you. Mm -hmm. like, at one point, he, like, one of them accidentally bumped into my friend. And it was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and he walked away slowly and, like, as if he were dead, as you do. Um, awesome. Staying in character. But, the, awesome. you know, in the Haunted Hayride, they could, like, get on the Hayride. They could touch you and they could, like, they would mainly, like, go with your hair or whatever. It was this little, like, five-year-old who was just entranced by this one guy who was supposed to be, like, a haunted scarecrow or something. And she's just like, whoa. And he's looking down at her and he leans down and he goes like this. The high five her. It was the cutest thing. Oh, I was like, oh, I'm not scared. This is cute. You. I went, my friends and I went to a haunted hayride my senior year, and it was like, they had a hayride, but then they also had like a walking haunted woods, mm -hmm. and um, I didn't want to do that because that one, you had to sign a waiver to go no. through because oh, they yeah. could all touch you, yeah. and so I could hear them going through, and at one point, a car horn goes off, and they told me everyone's, like all the monsters came out of the woods, and they all just started like grabbing <gasps> at them and pulling at them. And then at one point, wow. they kept walking, and the only place you could go was into this little hut. Yeah. And once you went inside, like, the walls just kept getting smaller and smaller, and there's just this oh, one wow. little hole you could exit from. I'm like, really glad I didn't go. Like, I like scary a, stuff, but I don't want to There was touched. a place like that in New Hampshire that I went to once, where, like, you did a walking thing. They could touch you. There was this yeah. really neon, bright, l weird lighting, um, like, fun house thing at one point that had like clowns and creepy yeah. things in it and it was yeah. crazy one of our friends no. came with us and was like terrified of clowns and i was like i don't know why you I came because they always put clowns <laughs> in the scary yeah. stuff and not like the cute clowns i'm not i'm mm -hmm. not, not i hate clowns actually did you say he's cute i, I mean i'm not cute but like <laughs> Like, I don't think Pennywise is that scary. I'm not as scared of like clown clown. Yeah, I'm not that scared of clowns. I'm scared of sad clowns. But we can go into that psychology later. Um, I'm if you're, yeah. spiders, even this kind of bugs me. Yeah, <laughs> if you, um, but if, if you don't like parties don't you in dare. college, the main, the main thing is that like, there are other things to like do it. on Halloween other than, than go to parties. I never yeah. went to a Halloween. I've been to two Halloween parties. Like in my adult life, and those were after college. Um, I technically I went to one in college because my friend didn't have a ride home, and I was like, "I'll go pick you up because I want you to be safe." So I showed up. <laughs> I was around the party. I wasn't at one. Um, but there's there's plenty to do if you're not into parties. Yeah. But. And I mean, if you're also, because you said you didn't want to watch scary movies, if it's a situation where you just don't feel like watching scary movies because it's a halloween -y thing, or if, like, you're not into scary stuff, be, like, completely the opposite of Halloween. And just, like, go against the flow and do something that's the most happiest, no, like, no, joyful. Not I'm not saying Christmas. Don't do Christmas. I'm just saying go do something super happy and upbeat and joyful that's, like, everything against Halloween. Because if you're just kind of over it, you might as well just, like... Go against the flow and do, do something baking. Mm -hmm. My friends yeah. and I used to make um, rice krispie treats all the time. Bake. Yeah, because you can make rice krispie treats uh, without even needing an oven. I know. If you think about it, everyone in your dorm, like a lot of people, are probably gone at parties or yeah. whatever. So you might have the whole dorm to yourself. Oh, I'm playing like, every game of hide and seek. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's a lot of fun. That could be so much fun. Just blaring. Do the um the you know Nerf. Gun fights. Oh, yeah, or... Nerf gun fights in the Nerf hallways and stuff, for sure. Make sure you have a cool RA first. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Ask them right <laughs> Check to join with them. and offer them a Nerf gun. There you go. Yeah. I would have loved that if my, if my kiddos asked me to do a Nerf gun fight with them. They never asked you? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they did, but I needed to have Sometimes a Nerf they gun. They didn't have an extra. Oh. So, oh. and I was like, I'm not going to spend 40 bucks on that. Yeah, no. I know, those things are expensive for, like, toy styrofoam gun things. Yeah. yeah.